In this video, I'm going to share with you the mental benefits of meditation because in the previous one, I did the physical ones. So when you learn to meditate, what it really does is it actually slows you down. So instead of focusing on your body and getting all caught up in all of that and the aches and pains, your body's feeling so much better. Then what that does is it creates this space for your mind. What it does, it actually improves your concentration. Because when you learn to meditate, what you do is you become aware of your thoughts. All those thoughts that are irrelevant or fillers or keep you active and busy and creates all those stories about not being good enough and people pleasing and what will people think, all those things. So what it does, it helps with your concentration because what it does, it helps you become aware of your thought patterns. And then what that does is it actually helps you become aware of the, all that extra noise, all the extra things that are in your mind that actually don't need to be there. What that does is it improves focus. It improves decision making. And if you run a business or are in a career, what it does is actually helps with the bottom line. It helps, you, it helps you be present, understand what's going on. You have a clarity of mind. You can see things. And when you start getting busy and overwhelmed, all you need to do is take a breath, bring yourself back into the moment, even put your heart on your chest and just go, ah, and here it is, because it's taking you out of the busyness back into the stillness of your being present. What it also does is helps you process information. Because when we've had something happen to us in our lives, we actually can lose that sense of concentration, there's memory loss, there's a real fogginess in your mind, this murkiness, and you can't actually, you, you just can't see the wood for the trees. So that's where meditation supports you to bring you back into that space and be able to do that. And as I said in my previous video, I do tend to look at notes because Sometimes my memory does slip me. Sometimes I can't concentrate and I can't focus and I really want to give you all the benefits. And it's also showing you that this is how we do things. We don't need to be perfect. It's not going to happen all the time. So what it does, it actually helps you to, this is the other big one that I really like, is we need to overanalyze and dissect each and every thought and emotion because that's actually what's exhausting. That is actually what takes up too much headspace. This teaches you to become aware of your thought process. And I actually have in my online meditation course a specific topic on that, how to be with your thoughts, how to work out your thoughts, and how to let to some thoughts be. And then what that does is create the space for the things that you want to think about and the things you want to feel. And what it does is breaks the pattern on, this is coming back to what I just said before, of continuous rumination going over and over and over. That is so exhausting. It is tiring and it just doesn't do your health any good on any level. And the other thing I found which has really helped me was it helps me become creative in my thinking. Because when you slow your mind down, when you create space in your head, that's when those aha moments come, those insights, or you get solutions, or you get, an, you get the overall picture. And that is what I've loved. It's really helped me a lot in my life, in things I needed to do, decisions I needed to make, I wasn't sure. Meditation has really supported me in that process. And the other thing is, as I said, it teaches silence you to silence your mind. Love it. Any other thoughts? Anything you'd like to question, comment, and I look forward to getting back to you. And my next one will be all about the emotional benefits of meditation.